Chapter 5. Pre-Event. Screening Individuals for Vaccination When There Is No Smallpox Emergency. With Dr. Brett Peterson. In Chapter 5 of this training video, we will discuss pre-event vaccination and screening individuals for contraindications to receiving Akeem 2000 when there is no smallpox emergency. Examples of populations in which pre-event vaccination might be needed include laboratory personnel who work directly with the variola virus or other related orthopox viruses, and members of smallpox response teams who will be at high risk for smallpox virus exposure while investigating a smallpox outbreak and or caring for smallpox patients. Warnings and precautions for ACAM 2000 will also be discussed. A careful medical history identifying risk factors for smallpox vaccination adverse events must be done for every individual prior to pre-event vaccination to identify individuals with contraindications to ACAM 2000 to determine whether the risks of vaccination outweigh the potential benefits and to appropriately convey the risks of serious complications. The risk for experiencing serious vaccination complications must be weighed against the risks for experiencing a severe orthopox virus infection. Outside of a smallpox emergency, the risks of vaccination generally outweigh the benefits of vaccination in certain individuals. ACAM 2000 is contraindicated in individuals with severe immunodeficiencies who are not expected to benefit from the vaccine. These individuals may include persons who are undergoing bone marrow transplantation and persons with primary or acquired immunodeficiency states who require isolation. When there is no smallpox emergency, ACAM 2000 should not be given to individuals who have experienced a serious allergic reaction to a prior dose of ACAM 2000 vaccine or other replication competent smallpox vaccines or to an ACAM 2000 vaccine component. By serious allergic reaction, we mean anaphylaxis or symptoms of an anaphylaxis-like reaction, such as generalized urticaria, wheezing, or difficulty breathing. Reconstituted ACAM 2000 vaccine does contain trace amounts of the antibiotics neomycin, polymyxin B, and phenol as a preservative. Individuals with significant immunosuppression or with household contacts who are immunosuppressed should not be vaccinated due to their predisposition for serious vaccination complications. Examples of significant immunosuppression include diseases and conditions such as leukemia, lymphoma, generalized malignancy, solid organ or stem cell transplantation, and HIV infection. Individuals who are taking drugs that can cause immunosuppression, such as alkylating agents, anti-metabolites, radiation, other immunomodulatory medications, or high-dose corticosteroid therapy, such as prednisone doses of more than 20 mg per day, or the equivalent for 14 days or more, should also not be vaccinated. When there is no smallpox emergency, ACAM 2000 should not be administered to pregnant and breastfeeding women. This includes women who think they may be pregnant at the time of vaccination, unless a pregnancy test can be offered prior to vaccination, and women who are planning on being pregnant within four weeks after vaccination. ACAM 2000 also should not be administered to individuals with pregnant household contacts. Women of childbearing age should be counseled to avoid becoming pregnant for at least four weeks after vaccination. ACAM 2000 has not been studied in breastfeeding women. It is not known whether the vaccine virus or antibodies are secreted in breast milk. In addition, live vaccine virus could be inadvertently transmitted from recently vaccinated breastfeeding women to breastfeeding infants. Infants are at high risk for developing serious complications from replication competent smallpox vaccines. Therefore, Women who are breastfeeding should not be vaccinated in a non-emergency setting. Individuals with eczema or history of eczema of any type, such as atopic dermatitis, neurodermatitis, or other eczematous conditions, regardless of the severity of the condition or whether the condition is currently active, are at higher risk for developing eczema vaccinatum and should not be vaccinated with ACAM 2000 in a non-emergency setting. Close contacts of vaccinees may also be at increased risk if they have eczematous conditions 
because live vaccine and virus can be shed and transmitted to these close contacts. Therefore, individuals with household contacts with eczema should not be vaccinated. Vaccinees or their contacts who have other acute, chronic, or exfoliative skin disorders, including burns, impetigo, contact dermatitis, varicella zoster, psoriasis, or acne vulgaris with open lesions, may also be at higher risk for eczema vaccinatum and should not be vaccinated. ACAM 2000 has not been studied in infants or children. However, in studies from 1968 with a similar smallpox vaccine, the risk of serious adverse events such as post vaccinal encephalitis following vaccination was higher in children less than 24 months of age. It is not recommended that children under 18 years old be vaccinated in a non-emergency setting. Individuals with physician-diagnosed cardiac disease with or without symptoms should not be vaccinated with ACAM 2000. Cardiac conditions might include recent or past myocardial infarction or angina, congestive heart failure, cardiomyopathy, stroke or transient ischemic attack, or unusual shortness of breath upon exertion. Individuals with three or more risk factors for ischemic coronary disease, such as high blood pressure, elevated blood cholesterol, diabetes mellitus or high blood sugar, currently smoking, or first degree relative, for example, mother, father, brother, or sister, who had a heart condition before the age of 50, might be at an increased risk for severe disease from vaccination complications and should not be vaccinated with ACAMP 2000. Individuals with moderate or severe acute illness and individuals with eye disease that is currently being treated with topical steroids may be at increased risk and should not be vaccinated until the illness or disease is resolved. Persons who are age 65 or older may be at increased risk for serious vaccination complications due to the relative immunosuppression of advanced aged and higher likelihood of comorbidities that may predispose them to vaccination complications. Following vaccination, educate all vaccinees on how to properly care for the vaccination site, on the risk for inadvertent inoculation to themselves or others, on avoidance of close physical contact with individuals who are at high risk for serious complications from exposure to the replication competent smallpox vaccines, for example, people with immunosuppression or atopic dermatitis, infants, etc., until the scab has fallen off, and on keeping the entire vaccination site covered. Practicing vigilant hand washing and infection control after vaccination will be critical. In summary, ACAM 2000 will not be recommended for the following individuals when no smallpox emergency is in effect. Individuals who have experienced a serious allergic reaction to a prior dose of vaccine or to a vaccine component. Individuals with significant immunosuppression or with household contacts who are immunosuppressed. Pregnant women, women who think they may be pregnant at the time of vaccination or are planning to be pregnant within four weeks after vaccination, or individuals who have household contacts who are pregnant. Women who are breastfeeding. Individuals with eczema or atopic dermatitis or derrieres disease, or with a history of these conditions or individuals whose household contacts have eczema or atopic dermatitis or a history of these conditions. Individuals with acute, chronic, or exfoliative skin conditions, such as burns, impetigo, contact dermatitis, varicella zoster, psoriasis, or acne vulgaris with open lesions, or individuals with household contacts with such conditions. Children less than 18 years old, individuals with known cardiac disease with or without symptoms, individuals with three or more risk factors for ischemic coronary disease, individuals with moderate or severe acute illness at the time of vaccination, and individuals with active eye disease that is being treated with topical steroids at the time of vaccination. For further clinical guidance, please refer to the CDC MMWR publications on smallpox vaccination at www.cdc.gov smallpox. Additional information about warnings and precautions for ACAM 2000 
can also be found in the AKM2000 package insert and medication guide.